Hey, it's Kevin. I'm back with another video on the Runaway Camper. Now, I get asked a lot, will my car pull or my vehicle pull the Runaway Camper? That's really hard for me to say whether it will or won't. So I came up with, a, I think, a solution to find out if your vehicle will pull the Runaway Camper. So we know I bought the base model. I don't know if you watched all my videos or not. I got a lot of videos on the Runaway Camper. I bought the base model because I wanted to add everything on the camper for myself. And then I know how much weight I'm adding into the camper. Now, every time we add something on it, we just bring the weight of the camper up. So if you want an air conditioner on the front, you're adding more weight. If you add a cooler on the front and a basket, you're adding more weight. Now, um, 680 pounds is what it weighed base. That's just a base model. Uh, I had about 40 pounds of down pressure on the tongue, uh, which is not very much. It's not very much at all. I know when I'm adding weight to the camper, I want to kind of distribute it throughout the camper. I don't want to try to put all the weight in the front of the camper or all the weight in the back of the camper. You want to kind of keep the weight distributed through the camper. So I came up with what I think may be a solution to help you figure out whether your car or your vehicle will tow the runaway camper. Uh, let's get to it. The first step and the most important step is to make sure that you have a good hitch on the back of your vehicle. There's one thing you have to understand. If this trailer comes off of your vehicle, you're responsible for it. So this hitch is very important. Make sure it's for your vehicle, it's bolted upright, and it's a good strong hitch. Okay, this is our next step. Our next step is finding a utility trailer. If you don't already have one of these, you may have one of these utility trailers. If you don't, ask a relative. Maybe your relative has one, or maybe your neighbor has one. And what we want to do, look on the trailer. Most of them on the frame will have GVW. That's your gross vehicle weight. You need to find out what this trailer weighs. Say this trailer weighs 300 pounds, which I'm not sure because mine is actually worn off. I don't even know what it weighs anymore. And I've actually modif modified mine by putting aluminum floor in it. So it's definitely different. It wouldn't be the same as what's written on the frame. Let's say the frame weighs 300 pounds. We're gonna need 700 pounds in bags. And what I mean by bags is sand, mulch, concrete, uh, wood pellets, anything like that in bags. They'll either be marked at 40 pounds or 50 pound bags. Just keep adding the bags to your trailer until you equal out 1,000 pounds. That's a combination between the trailer and the bags that you put on here. Don't put all the bags in the front. Scatter the bags all over the floor. You want to equal out the weight all the way across your trailer. Don't want them all in the front. You don't want them all in the back. And you don't want them just spread them all out. Now, let's say you got a trailer and it don't have a GVW on it. So now, we'll try to guess. I'm going to guess a 4x8 trailer, 300 pounds. Go ahead and add all the weight onto it. Get a hold of your, um, there's a recycling plant, I'm sure, around you somewhere, or a salvage yard where they uh, recycle uh, copper, brass, aluminum, any types of metals. If you take it to them, they'll have a big scale. Ask the guy, say, hey, do you mind if I weigh my trailer on your scale? If he says, hey, you know, okay, that's great. You know, as long as you're not in his way or inconveniencing him in any way, he's probably going to tell you, go ahead, run across my scales. I don't care. So then it's going to give you the total weight of your car and your trailer, but either take it off and set it on a scale and pull your car off or come back at a later time and weigh your car. That way you know what this trailer weighs. Now, that's a little bit tough, a little bit rough on it, but... I would ask him, hey, can I unhook my trailer and just set it on there and then hook it back up real quick, you know, and get off the scales just in case somebody's there, somebody else is there. Maybe there's a slow time, downtime, you could get in there and get it weighed. 
That would be the best way I could tell you to get it weighed to make sure you know what you're pulling. Okay, we got a thousand pounds on here. Let's not head straight out for the interstate. Don't do that because I'm telling you, it's going to be easier on the interstate than what it is on these secondary roads, the back roads, the, you know, you're just your main roads because you'll be able to get a run for the hill. Now, if you're going up the Appalachian Mountains, it's going to slow down because guess what? Even your car with no weight is going to slow down going up that hill. Unless you got it to the floor all the way, it's going to slow down. Stay on them back roads, run it for a while, see how it feels to you, and if it feels okay, head down there and pick you up one of them runaway campers. Man, they're sweet. I love my camper. Uh, can't wait to get it out in the spring. We got some plans. We got a bunch of videos we're going to be making this spring as uh, soon as we get that camper out. Now, the reason why I'm telling you 1,000 pounds, that gives you 680 pounds for your trailer, and it also gives you 320 pounds for the other stuff that you want to put in your trailer so you're not going to have just a base model trailer all the time you're going to either you're going to add stuff to it like a cooler like everything you want to go use camping you, you know there's a lot of stuff you may want to take with you so that's why i'm saying add 1000 pounds to the utility trailer and then that'll give you a good idea just about what it's going to take to haul the runaway camper loaded i wanted to tell everybody thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe leave me thumbs up thumbs down or a comment if you'd like till next time